Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here and we have a doozy of a video today. We just did a video on leaks yesterday, so if you didn't catch that one, make sure you go back and watch it. But a couple of videos ago, I said that 343 needed to do this for the community. And that video was all about opening communications. And it looks like we are about to get a lot of comms. But before we get into the video, we are less than 150 subs away from 10K. Remember that we're gonna have a 10,000 subscriber montage. And my goal was to hit it before September, and we've only got a couple days left. So if you watch the videos, if you come to the channel often, just, just throw a sub my way. It would greatly help me out. Now let's get into the video. So Sketch tweeted yesterday, he's the community director at 343. Curious, what's your preferred means of getting new info? Unofficial reveals are always faster, but not always accurate. Leaks can sometimes really suck for people doing the work on the inside. Are game leaks different than TV, movie, book spoilers? I voted leaks because I am chaotic, but you know, the 30% of people, I don't really like when they have this because it really skews the data um, when it says, I don't care, show me the results, but... You know, 29% said leaks, 40% said wait for official reveals. Patman said, I only like to report on official news from the devs. He says that he wants to get excited, and Sketch said, we're about to emerge from this cocoon, putting together an update for next week to go over what to expect over the next several months. Once we're fully into regular seasonal development cadence, we'll have more to regularly show and tell. And then he replies to a bunch of tweets saying, fair, while we've been getting the house in order, the community did take matters into their own hands. Can't say I blame them. That's quite a tweet. Another user was talking about the Reach armor that just did not make it into the game, including CQB and Sketch said, stay tuned. Cosmetics don't die. They're just missing in action. Thank goodness. Another user said that it'd be cool if you guys revived Inside Infinite, which is what I said in my video and gave us monthly updates on the schedule. And Sketch says we're on the same page. That is our goal as well. Thel Vidam said, I suggest making a block series similar to Inside Infinite. We're on the same page. When we're in the midst of a six-month season and we've shown what to expect, there's not a lot else to say. Excited to get back into the proper rhythm. I kind of disagree with this because just for real, we are so starved in these six-month seasons for anything that involves the future that if you teased us with like something that was 40% done or like showed us the Falcon, people would be so hyped. This user says, I think if 343 had better communication about upcoming additions or changes, upcoming seasons, even a weekly or bi-weekly blog post, you're too quiet, which leads people to believe nothing is happening with Halo, which I don't think is true. And Sketch said, fair, we are definitely working back towards that. Long stretches of heads down internal work does make frequent status updates challenging, but we're getting there. But really, the most important thing about this is the update for next week to go over what to expect. That's, I hope that it is substantial because we need substantial news from 343. People want to be hyped about Halo. People want to be excited. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!